at some point in all of our lives, we acknowledge the light within us because it was always there. But in our innocence, sometimes we do not see it as such. But when we acknowledge it, things change. I saw the light early. It was inevitable for me to see it. And I learned that I was to be a teacher. But I didn't know really what a teacher was. I didn't know what anything was. But I knew that the light was there, and I knew that the light would help me learn. Because I was chosen to help others. When I realized what there was for me to learn, many people around me realized that the light was in me in a strong way. So they started teaching me immediately. And after I learned some things, I took my own course of action as a young man. I decided, after much prayer and meditation, that I would learn everything about our energy centers as I could. So I started with the root chakra, and I became Mother Earth. I became connected with nature in a very real way. I became connected with the parts of the world that are stationary and do not speak. It became part of those things which some people don't realize are living. And I took myself away from people for a while to learn about the root mother chakra. And then from there, moving up to the next chakra, the sexual, the human, which is also tied to Mother Earth, the lower vibrations. But Mother Earth, as a lower vibration, is the highest vibration. They intertwine the highest and the lowest. And I realized that after becoming part of that scenery, that comforting, smoothness, smoothness, and part of the weather, and part of the sky, and part of the ground. Because things move from the ground to the sky, the water. As it evaporates, I became part of that as well. And then I moved through the chakras, learning each one as well as I could. Because this is how I was to learn how to teach. And as I moved up through the chakras, I learned many things about life and love and understanding. And that is how I became a teacher of men. You must learn in your lives. Many of you call on the Spirit 
to come down to you and meet you where you are, and he will do that. The Spirit of God, the energy of God. But in return, you must move toward him as well. Your meditations must move out from you. Your meditations must be complete in the sense that you are not distracted and the darkness is real darkness and the light is real light. These things I learned and were able to bring joy into my life through the knowledge of truth. Be aware of things around you. Be aware of the earth and the things that you own, for you do not really own them. They are just there to help you, to be part with you, to find who you are in something that is not of your flesh. You can learn from anything. The spirit is high-minded, but also low-minded. It matters not that you're a rock, or a human, or a cat or a dog, or a cow. The spirit knows you. Do you understand that? Yes. What I did in my time on this earth was to teach. Teach about the light and love and peace, understanding. And I was remembered, but that is not why I did it. The spirit let them remember the example. And that is all. I must say today. What's your name? Buddha. Thank you for coming. I was known as that name. Jim? Yes. I'll check how we report it.